In this video, I'm going to solve a simple problem about dumps. So here's the problem. For the dam retaining water as shown below, find A, the factor of safety against sliding, assuming the coefficient of friction between the base of the dam and the foundation soil is point. 45. B. Find the factor of safety against overturning. And C. Find the pressure intensity on the base of the dam. The foundation soil is permeable. So assume hydrostatic uplift varies from full hydrostatic head at the heel of the dam to zero at the toe. The unit weight of the concrete is 23.5 kilonewtons per cubic meters. So, first is the vertical other forces now. For the horizontal, sorry, horizontal component of the head is other. Hydrostatic force. This is the projected area, vertical projection. Okay, can you in contact with water? So, so this is FH and this is acting at the center of pressure. And for this one, if you draw the pressure diagram linear man. The formula of pressure is gamma times H and linear ang relationship. So if we draw him ang pressure diagram, triangle siya zero sa liquid surface and then maximum sa bottom line siya. So tri triangle and ang centroid niya is one third sa one third from the base. So instead of I-compute pa. I-compute pa ang intensity. Pwede lang nga direct, no? H over 3. And the height is 14. So, the height is 14 over... The distance, sorry. The distance is 14 over 3 from the base. Now, if you are not sure about this, you can compute for E para ma-locate ni mo ang center of pressure using the formula I over area times Y bar. Pero shortcut, it's just, it's just H over 3. Okay. <clears throat> now, for the vertical component, now since this part, kung vertical lang ang wall, ane, wala ane, wala anantang, wala na vertical component, pero naamani, so, compute na to. And for this one, the liquid is above the surface. No? So, this is the surface. Plain surface lang, there is a curved surface. You project him na vertically upward, if I intersect sa free liquid surface, and you have this area. No? So, it's just 3 times 11, no? 14 minus 3. And since the liquid is above above the curve or above the surface, then ang direction sa force is downward. And then for the dam, let's subdivide this one into basic figures. This one, cut, and then cut, and then triangle, cut. So we denote this one as W1. W2, this one W3, and this one W4. The forces are acting at the center of gravity. Okay. <clears throat> and we also have hydrostatic uplift. Maximum sa heel is zero sa toe. And the value is gamma H. Maximum on gamma H, gamma, uh, 
9.81 times 14, the product is 137.34. 9.81 times 14. Since uplift man, so upward ja. Okay. <clears throat> So let's assume I want a unit strip one meter perpendicular sa screen. So let's compute for the forces. FH is gamma of water times H bar times A. So it's 9.81. H bar is one half of 14. And then the area is 14 times 1. So FH is 961.38. Next, FV, gamma times volume. So, ang area is 3 times 11 times 1 unit length, 323.73. For W1, it's gamma of concrete times volume of concrete. So, it's 23.5 given ang gamma of concrete. Ang area niya is 3 by 3 times 1. Uh, 211.5 W2. Same lang, pero they differ in area. It's 4 by 18. 4 or niya 18. For W3, the area is triangle 1 half. The base is 8. The height is 12. <clears throat> w4, it's a rectangle, is 8 by 3, ang area. And the last one is the uplift. Area lang, na nagama. The unit of 137.34 is kilopascal. Kilo newton per cubic meters times meter man. Kilopascal times length meters so kilonewton per meter times one unit length the result is kilonewtons this one one half 15 a base this is meters and kilopascal that's kilonewton per meter square times meters so result in is kilonewtons <coughs> So after solving for the forces, we now compute for the resultant Ry. Uh, y components are resultant. So Ry is actually equal to the total downward force minus the upward force. Okay, mas dako man ang downward force. So it's a mention of force uh, Y. <clears throat> this one, W1 plus W2 plus 3 plus 4 plus FV minus U. So using these values, W1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus FV minus W, and then R is equal to 2,889.18 kilonewtons. <clears throat> Next, solve for the overturning moment and the writing moment. So, ang overturning moment is those forces, number for those of moment na which will uh, cause the dam to overturn. So, that would be clockwise moment. So, ang forces that will cause the will produce clockwise movement are FH and W. So the overturning moment is FH times 14 over 3 plus U times this one. Because ang atong one, point na mag-rotate siya is there is a B. Pag ma-overturn ng dam, sa B yung siya ma-rotate. So ang distance sa U is... Triangle money, that's two thirds of 15. 15, and that is 10. 
So the overturning moment is FH times distance 14 over 3 plus U times distance na 10. So we substitute the values of FH and U. The value is this one. This is the overturning moment. 14,786.94. Next, writing moment. So writing moment, those four states that will produce counterclockwise moment. Those are W1, 2, 3, 4, and FV. For FV, the distance to point B is 8. This one, 8 plus 4. Plus one half of three. That's 13.5. Same with the volume one. Eight plus four plus one point five. For the volume two, the distance is eight plus one half of four. That's ten. One half of four to eight plus two. That's ten. For the volume three, to be that's two thirds of base. And the base is eight. Times two thirds, that's 16 over 3. And for W4, the distance is 1 half of 8, so that's 4. We have this one. If V times 13.5, same with W1. W2 is 10, 8 plus 2. W3 is 2 thirds of 8. 16 over 3 and W4, 1 half of 8. And then substitute the values of FV, this one, 323.73. And then W1 up to W4. And the result is this, 32,417.94. Kilo Newton meters. So after solving for the overturning moment and the writing moment, next is we locate the resultant uh, referred from the toe, very point B. Okay, so what we will do is we sum up moment. This is the resultant R Y. And the distance is we denote it as X bar. So <clears throat> we know some up moment about B. Now take note now if you add the moment of F H and W on U, these are clockwise moments. No? F H and U ang sum silang moment is actually overturning moment. And ang sum sa moment sa FV as well as W1, W2, 3, and 4. Ang sum sa ilang moment is actually writing moment. So when you sum up moment about B, this one, FB and W1 to 4, that's writing moment minus FH and U overturning moment minus RY times X bar. This is the equation. Writing moment total sa FV and the four Ws minus overturning moment total of FH and U. And ang RY is clockwise man sa so minus RY times X bar. And from here, you get the formula of X bar. That's writing moment minus overturning moment over RY. So, if you will substitute the values of RM, OM, and RY, the result of the result is 6.1 meters. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Next is we now compute for the factor of safety. This is letter A is a problem. No? Find the factor of safety against sliding. And assuming um coefficient of friction is 0.45. The formula is this factor of safety. 
mu times uh, mu times r y. That's friction because r y is our normal force, and now friction yeah, is mu times the normal mu times r y over f h. So substitute 0.45 times r y over f h. The answer is 1.35. This is the answer of letter A. Next, factor of safety against overturning. Uh, so overturning moment as a factor of safety against overturning, it's the ratio of the writing moment over the overturning moment. The factor of safety is 2.90. And the last part is foundation pressure, pressure at the base. So if you consider the point, the base 15, this one, 15 meters, we draw the center line. Okay. And this is 7.5 and 7.5. And we now plot the RY. This RY and then X bar na 6.1. Now, the distance between RY and the center line is denoted as E, eccentricity. And the value of E is 7.5 minus 6.1. That's 1.4. And the formula of pressure is this Ry over B times quantity one plus or minus six E over B. Um, plus or minus money mag, mag determine ko asa ang mas dako. No? Now, since, since Ry is nearer B, so much bigger ang pressure sa B compared to A. So for this factor, ang positive sign and it goes to point B. And ang minus or ang negative sign goes to point A sa hill. Okay, so we substitute values RY, RY 2889.18. B is our base, 15 meters, and then E is 1.4. So we compute, so 889.18 over 15 is equal to this one, 192.612. Six times 1.4 over 15 is equal to 0.56. So at point A, since Again, ROI is nearer B, so must bigger than B kaysa A. So at A, we use the negative sign. So B sa A is 192.61 times 1 minus 0.56. Okay, this is the answer. And at B, positive. And the answer is 300.475 kilo pascal. Okay. So I hope that you have learned something from this presentation. And money and procedures. So first, uh, you solve for the forces, different forces. Hydrostatic force, which a dam, uplift, if there is any uplift. Next, you compute for the resultant. And then compute for the writing moment and overturning moment. And then you locate the resultant. After that, you compute for the factor of safety. And then pinaka last is compute for the foundation pressure. Uh, so 
that's it thank you for watching